Hello there, it is I, Animan the Exile, and today I'm casting you a video Blood Angels against Tyranids on the map called Shrine of Exilation. <coughs> it is a remastered version map for the two players, uh, as you can see. And let's give it a go. Let's see what happened here. Let's start the mission. Alright, now we can see the hive spore. And blood angels. Like stuff like this you can only have in unification mod. Uh, and maybe a couple mods more. As I said back in the last episode. Now the Tyranids starting with Gene Stealers, but the gameplay is kind of different. So have that in mind. For now, let's see what is going on here. Going up for two machine servitors, building this barracks, going for one generator. Tyranids capturing nearest and dearest points. Uh, Alright, scouts also. Those are the assault scouts. And they are also capturing nearest and dearest points. You can see this map has one critical location, two relics. Gene stealers. Sound like a gene stealers? Gene, gene stealers. <laughs> we can call them gene stealers, like they are stealing your genes. <laughs> As my old friend of mine used to say, like, he's, they are gene stealers. They steal your genes. <laughs> Alright, we got some Amogras, some Broodlord. <laughs> or we can call them Jeez Stealers. <laughs> Alright, uh, it was a joke. Show um, me a path. Take it personal. The lo lovers of the Tyranids. <clears throat> I kinda don't like those bugs. But most of all, Played I don't really like these the elves. The Eldari. Who likes Eldari? Come on. All right, tactical marine squad online. Now we can see what's funny about the blood angels that is like they have plasma gun, okay, they have flamer, okay, but they got melter gun, and also they can go for a gravity gun, gravitation gun. Gravitation gun is I very good gun. It's Captain Tycho, look at him. Look at his sweet Some armor of okay. his. You love to see it, alright. Uh, <coughs> now Tyranids trying to distract me from my relic by killing my infantry while I am capturing. But that is why there is Captain Tycho to show them the wrath. I do not retreat from this position. No. It is the enemy who will retreat. I face my fate with clear eyes. Look at this legend. He has this. He has this golden armor uh, and his sword in his hands. He's ready to do, to do some damage. It seems his eyes are clear. He faces enemies with his clear eyes. All right, brood lord. He's made for heavy infantry and infantry only. Probably good, good against commanders too. But now Tyranids are continuously capturing those points. Now going for the relic on the two sides. Like, yeah, what's funny about this tactical squad? Instead of a classic tactical marine, uh, when you go for a, they they can go in the blood range when they're in melee, you know. Even if they are like, you know, like they are not like last Blood Raver Space Marines. Because they get consumed by Blood Rage. And from that point, they, they will be mad and they will strike you down. And instead of missile launchers, they got melter guns. And what's the last thing for the Space Marines? Uh, yeah, heavy bolters, right? They don't, they don't receive heavy bolters, they got rotation gun. 
but it is a tier 5 weapon, so victory countdown has begun. Okay, we can see, I already got uh, domination over the Tyranids and going for tier 2, Outpost Primus. What about the Tyranids? They got some uh, upgrades for their gene stealers, alright? G stealers. Genes stealer. <laughs> Alright. Shall I build it? Just building anything? classic listening posts around the on the points we captured and conquered. Now our enemy are capturing the relic. Good lord is very angry. He's getting triggered. Because the loading angels are attacking the score. Six minutes until taking full victory. Captain Tycho in melee is very good. Now, revenue squad online. You can see a couple of tactical and a couple of assault scouts. But they're all in range. They are just killing those revenues. <laughs> Even a broadlord is scared of this army. They have nothing to stop it. This is how they do. They scream for Sanguinius. For the Emperor, they said. Okay, I have decapped this point in the God Emperor's name. The Tyranids are jumping, trying to do some damage it seems, but are they gonna do some damage, really? Seriously. Okay, servitors are building the Sanguineo Armory. A Renicus Brute Spire is complete, a couple of reclamation pools are also there. <coughs> God bless, God Emperor bless my soul. Victory countdown has begun. Okay, what what is going on here? Uh, scouts going okay. for machine. Oh, okay, that's something new. That means, oh yeah, and the um, grenade upgrade. That's gonna delete those. The great heat for the bear. Those grenades. <coughs> Broodlord is finally dead, but no, he got the gene stealer. Still, it's funny, like they are similar to Archon. Archon gets in Cubis uh, as his uh, unit infantry like around him, and they are from all commanders, but uh, <coughs> those Tyranids get like gene stealers around the Broodlord. He's the first hero, but he's not the primary hero. Primary hero is, I believe, High Tyrant. And I would like to see Swarm Lord in the next version of Unification Mod. I believe they're gonna give us a little bit of better shape for Tyranids in the future updates. Who knows, maybe they're gonna. Okay, we can see Assault Rhino. So it, Assault Rhino got only this heavy bolter, heavy stone bolter on, and that's about it. But it's a good uh, transport vehicle. Locking pretty nice. Metal, as a metal box. <coughs> metal box, it's alright. Tyranids are gathering and all they care about is only that blue, you know, blue stuff, so... Okay, we can see the power green for the space marines and superior bionics for the space marines and also, also some melt up bombs. Now, Reclusium is building is ready <coughs> going for the sixth generator that is interesting very good 
you can see the statistics right here 134 66 for now and this is finished 76 78 nice bro that's pretty nice okay we can you can see going up for the furious dreadnought has begun and the uh, victory condition is on now let's see what are the tyranids doing tyranids nothing special just gathering 58 going up for the requisition for the tyranids let's see Termagants, only that unit, that's lame. I mean, they're okay, like, they can uh, jump at you, but they're not that special, like... You can see those skin and uh, skin gun maids, it's pretty nasty, actually. Okay, the scout side is going to last now. Until taken and the chain sword. Now, Ursio Dreadnought is deleting that relic from the from Tyranids. And another Dreadnought going up. <coughs> ready to purge the enemies of the Emperor. Incoming Heavy Bolt Turret. Right in the middle of the map. Servitor is ready to finish the building. And there is another heavy turret. Economy for, for the space marine is going pretty well. Now Mephiston is coming up. There he is. The best psyker in the world. One of the the best psychers in the Warhammer universe. Chief Librarian. Five Fiston. minutes until taking hold victory. Perhaps you are Perhaps you are correct. Once again we wait for death. This model is looking pretty nice. Uh, his voice acting is also very nice. You can see his sword is nothing like the classic power swords. He really is something in this four camera green darkness universe. So be aware, he can do a lot of damage and a lot of sorcery. He is the only sorcerer who can like dominate the blood rage mod. Blood rage mod is when the the space marines or the blood angels go berserk because of uh, loss of the sanguineous. You can see how glorious these marines are actually. And there we are. There they are. The assault Four marines. Four minutes until taken hold victory. They are all gathered here. With those like this fine helmet for these gentlemen. Now space marines decide to destroy this Xenos field. couple of turrets already on the both sides now going up even for a tier 3 oh yeah Titan. That's a pretty good 
the frame and remove it so the two units are some global units are actually producing everything they can. Now we have some veteran squad. You can see how veteran these people are actually. Shooting from the bones of the school and going up to the melee. So they stop the machine so it's powerful. So I'll give up on a base this guy. And the piston is very very good. It's unique. Also Captain Tycho. That blood angels are pretty cool. No joke how they used to survive against pyramids, but pyramids are massive quick. Look just like expanding everything. Now even going for the second building, yeah I kinda of forgot about that. <laughs> Economy going pretty well. All of the research is going up. Even a Bale Predator and a Classic Predator, they can produce two different Predators. HQ is no more. That was a uh, Broodlord. But only the G, G skillers left. Warrior Squad. Scouts. So Scouts are attacking the Warriors. Doing a lot of damage. They're speaking of that. But is that speed going to be enough? Yeah, Bale Predator. You can see how Bale Predator is actually pretty good. Like assault cannons and storm bolter cannons. Now we will be upgraded with a couple of flamers. 30 seconds to win against Tyranids. But they have nothing left, so we can count this. Oh, except the Five Tyrant, a primary commander. Take and hold victory achieved. Yes, it seems the take and hold victory has been achieved, but otherwise, it could, we could like easily say this could be annihilated. Okay, we completely demolished the Tyranids uh, from the existence here. Oh, look at this. You can even see the dead company. <coughs> Those are the Berserk Marines. The dead company are the Berserk Marines, and they also got a chaplain Le Mestres in in that squad. That is the best uh, thing you can have, like that company. <coughs> and they are like berserkers, but they they are constantly. On the berserk mode. Oh yeah, look at this vehicle. <laughs> Treat the lost brothers. Dead company rhino, right? Depends which path you want. Like if you want to go for a wing pad or like uh, I don't know hunter pad, something like that. And then you receive those you dead company guys on the foot from I'm the dead company rhino. And if you pick the wing, then you receive them as a jetpack, uh, jetpack packs. You know. So that's about it from this episode. Yeah, oh, we can see absolutely dominance. 184 kills, 32 infantry lost, and 11 buildings demolished. And the army sites from the Tyranids were bigger, but they didn't do well, so it doesn't count. I had more requisition in every way possible. That's about it. Thanks for watching and bye.